Are you recording this? Hey, good evening everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel and also back to look at my portfolio way in the background here. And uh, for those who want to know, like one of the questions people ask me, like why why don't why my picture is kind of small in a corner where you see other people, their picture's big. Do you see a lot of their face? Uh, I'm not trying to hide my face because you can watch any any other video. If you're talking about investment, I like to keep it small here so you can see the big screen, so you can read the column, the you know the, the funds and all that stuff. But if you want to see my face, man, just watch any of my short video or any of the traveling video or cooking video. So there's tons of video of me, uh, you know, dancing, drinking, and having a good time. So there you go. You want to see my face, you're more welcome. Uh, but for financial stuff, uh, I like to keep it small so you can see more of my portfolio. Okay, so let's review this real quickly here uh, because in the last three days, things changed so much, dramatically changed. All right, so uh, I don't know if you remember this, but beginning of the year, my portfolio was like $80,000 um, and I have lost a lot of <laughs> value. Uh, if I sold everything, if I just sell everything completely, sell everything out, uh, the market value of my portfolio is essentially 115. That's that's it. If I sell everything and whatever's left over, you know, total is 115. Uh, they're gonna take 46,000. 115 take 46,000 way of margin, and I get left over about 68,000 dollars. That's my portfolio. Uh, but out of the 68,000, I mean, out of the 115, it's actually is 130,000 if you include the market value. I I'm losing about 15 uh, 15,000 dollars, 11 percent, and uh, there's. When every time I, I like to rub this in, people, because every time I do portfolio review, there's at least one person who would come and say, you're down $15,000. Dude, that is the market value. It's down right now, right? Because if you asked me a week ago, it was it was down only 5%. But right now, I'm down $15,000 uh, or 11%. And then you asked me a couple months ago, back in December 20, I was down 12%. So this thing is like almost 20%, $20,000. And as my portfolio get bigger, this number just keep going, just keep going. So how do you combat this number? I just, just DCA. You just keep DCA down, and eventually that's going to go away, or the market's going to come back up, and that's going to go away. So those two things going to go away. It doesn't mean I'm losing fifteen thousand dollar. Whoever tell me that I'm losing fifteen thousand dollar, you're a knucklehead. I'm just telling you straight up, you're a knucklehead. You don't understand investment. Uh, you, you don't understand what you're doing. You don't understand what you're saying. That's the bottom line. Okay, I'm not losing 15000 I'm only going to lose $15,000 if I sell any of my portfolio. Okay, so my portfolio is an income portfolio. That It has only one purpose. That is to generate me income. All right? As long as it generates me income, I'm doing great. If my portfolio does not generate me income, guess what? Yeah, then you can have all the argument you can make. You can tease me all you want. And you can watch me burn my portfolio. I'm down fifteen thousand dollar, and it doesn't generate me income. Therefore, I suck. There you go. But however, it's generated me income. It generated me a lot of income. Five thousand dollar. Guess what? When this thing is down five percent, I get five thousand dollar. When it was twelve percent, I get five thousand dollar. I get five thousand dollar no matter what, until I get six thousand dollar, which I'm on my way there. So we're going to talk about how I'm going to get to six thousand dollar, and I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Just a little bit out of time. All right, so I've been playing around with the uh, margin a lot. Uh, so a lot of people are uncomfortable. When you see this number down $46,000, it's they're really uncomfortable. That $46,000 is really sitting in, in here. They're all in here. So if I sell whatever I'm selling, now you, you know, obviously you want to sell at the highest value because I'm down. That mean, So if, if, you, if you take $15,000 that I'm down here from this, and plus what I'm selling, yeah, that's that number is really tiny in comparison, all right? Um, also, yeah, I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I'm not too worried about it because I'm, like I said, my whole purpose is generate income. I'm making $5,000 a month plus my contribution, which is 1500 So I put 6500 into my account, and I'm on my way to 6000 uh, $6, dividends, so that means it's going to be 7500 a month. So this thing can go by pretty quickly if I just don't spend. I just go one month without spending. Guess what? It's going to drop. That's why I'm not too worried about these things because I'm generally I'm, I'm my sole focus is to get to ten thousand dollars. When I get to ten thousand dollars, then I worry about it a little bit. All right. 
and then it doesn't matter because I'm going to pay it off pretty quickly. I just keep it balanced, okay? Uh, okay, so that's where the dollar mounts at, and that's everything. So nothing happened so far. I'm just going to go down the list here. Uh, the price came down to 824 uh, so expired, it's going to expire today. So this thing couldn't be tomorrow. It's going to, um, it's going to clear up my contract here. So I had a, I had a cover call on a $12 strike, uh, which I roll over. It was a $11 strike, but I roll it to $12 just so I can learn how to do this rolling. Uh, so obviously it didn't, it, it, uh, it's $8. So that means I won. Woohoo. I made, I don't know, I made $4, $5, guess what? But I got to keep my share. So next week, I get to do cover call again. And uh, I'm going to be a little more aggressive next week and see if I can try to get a $9 strike uh, for next week. Uh, I don't know, just be aggressive. I lose a share, I lose a share. I'm not worried about it uh, because hey, Tesla, nothing happened. Tesla never came down to 220 If it come down to 220 I will buy it, but it just, it just never did. Uh, can you, this is one of the fun, I probably end up selling, but right now I'm sitting here, that's the Johnson Johnson Tyrannol Company. AI, I got, I bought one share of AI today, uh, C3 AI, so guess what, I'm in the AI game now. Woo I, I feel like, you know, like, like who's my role model for investment? Kathy Wood. Like all her technology stuff, the stuff that she like, I like. You know, she write, she like, uh, she like uh, riots. I like riots. She like uh, coin. I like coin. She like Tesla. I like Tesla. You know, she like uh, Unity. I like Unity. Now, there's a lot of stuff that she like. I, I, I like it. So eventually, my portfolio is gonna look like Ark Adventure because of the things she like, I like. It's just a lot of them I can't afford it because it costs 160, 200, you know, 150 to 100, you know, 200 dollar share on some of these, uh, some of these companies. I just can't afford it. So. But AI, C3 AI, I can't afford it. It's only $27. So I'm going to buy one share at a time. Maybe a share here, a share there. And if I get 100 share, great. My goal is to get 100 share across the board. 100 share of Tesla, 100 share of Canu, 100 share of AI, and then 100 share of Neo, Palantir, Rivian. So Rivian, you can see it's building up. I got 40 share now. Sorry, I'm drinking a little bit. I uh, got some my uh, some juice here. All right, uh, Palantir. I bought some. I bought you know. I'm just give you an idea how much I bought. Well, I'll show you just an example. Here's my lot detail. So you can see I every day I buy like one share. I didn't buy one on the fourth. On the third I bought one share. On the second I bought one share. Second, uh, actually I bought two share, uh, three share on the second. Uh, you know, one a different time slot, a different time price. I bought one on 1229, I bought three on 1220, you know, just random stuff like that. And and that's why I'm, I'm in no rush, I'm in no rush. Uh, I have I have income, I'm just taking my time and just enjoying the investment. And I just keep DCAing down, I keep DCAing down. I start off, just to give you perspective, let me go back to the lot again. I start off 1797, and right now sitting at 1689. Yeah, and I keep working way down, eventually gonna go $15. Same thing with Rivian. I start off uh, Rivian. I start off with at twenty four dollars, almost twenty twenty four forty, and now it's sitting at twenty dollars sixty one. I keep working way down with it, and when it get to a hundred share, I stop. Uh, or maybe I just keep you know if it go down, I'll keep buying some more. But that's what I need to get to. The goal is to get to a hundred share so I can do cover call on it, so I can learn how to do option trading, and uh, and great. All right. So, but the meat and bread and butter of my portfolio is the income. Uh, ETF. All these ETF has one sole purpose, and that is generally cash flow, monthly cash flow. And I get about five thousand. And you look at my div uh, dividends. Except I spy. I don't have a dividend payout. Every single one I have dividend payout. The lowest is literally Jep Y J E P Y at fifty cents, and the second lowest is fifty five cents is Tesla. But everything else is sixty cents to a dollar. You know, like I. I'm not playing around. I'm only buying things at high dividend, you know. I don't know what iSpy is going to pay, but I'm curious. But I got six shares. If it pay, if it pay me a dollar, guess what? I'm keeping it. If it pay me less than a do dollar, I may sell that and take that money and buy uh, Feppy, F-E-P-I, you know. Just, no big deal. Just that's, you know, that's why I'm not, I'm not, uh, um, you know, I'm not constrained to what I'm buying, all right. You don't don't constrain yourself. Huh? Okay, so I spy. Uh, I got six share. That's uh, right now. I'm down only you know what 
13 cents, 12 cents or something like that. I don't know. I can't do the math. Uh, so I'm down a little bit here. Okay. Uh, AIYY, I just bought it. I got 10 share. Uh, the re <laughs> I just, that's it. I just got into position. I just want to say I got into the position. So no matter what, if next if next month it would pay me a dollar a dollar and thirty four cents because I have ten share, the minimum I'm going to get is at least ten dollar and thirty four cents. So that's not bad. All right, uh, Jep Y, I got twenty one share. Uh, I I will grow Jep Y. I just haven't grow it. I just haven't really put any effort into it. I gotta work IWMY first. Once I get IWMY to a thousand share, then I will take a look at growing uh, Jep Y. Okay, I may not. It's it's one of those fun. I just leave it there. When I have extra money, I'll throw it. If I not, I just it's just it's just there. Okay, Feppy Feppy uh, F E P I. I have fifteen share. I'm gonna keep growing this. It gave me a dollar. This fund is a good fund. It gave me two dollar. Uh, I mean a dollar every month since so far. And uh, the only thing is expensive. It's the most expensive thing in my portfolio here. It's fifty-four dollar. Well, most expensive is Tesla, but this is the second most expensive at fifty-four dollar, uh, fifty-five dollars my average. So I'm continuing to work this. I'm continuing to feed it. Uh, when do I stop? I don't know. It's one of those fun. I just keep keep throwing money into it. Um, ultimately, I want at least to get a thousand dollars worth of income. Uh, you know, uh, share. So it paid me about a thousand dollar. Uh, TLCLP is my third week. This is my third week fund that pay me. Uh, currently, right now, it's twenty-seven dollar. My average is twenty-eight. Obviously, it's a it's almost uh, you know uh, one dollar and three cents. Uh, uh, more uh, you know. So I I have to DCA this one. I only have twenty-one share. I'm not in a rush because I got to work on my first week first. My first week is QQY and IWY. Once I get those guys. To a thousand dollar, that means a thousand dollar from QQY, a thousand dollar for IWY. That's two thousand dollar. So what happened in the future? AV first week, I will spend a thousand dollar on one of those funds. I'm good, you know, and uh, we just move on. Uh, don't touch anymore. Connie, I got my Connie position to a hundred. I'm very happy, uh, you know, but it doesn't mean I'm going to stop there. But at least that's the goal. So next month, uh, I may not need to throw a lot of money into. It. I just buy here and there. If I have extra money, I'll throw it in there. If not, then I, do, I don't, I don't. You know, so I'm, I'm happy. Ultimate goal is to get a thousand share or a thousand dollar every one, of, every one of these funds. I want to get a thousand dollar out of it. So there's, there's about eleven funds here, and um, that means about eleven thousand dollars a month, roughly. If I get a thousand dollar from every one of them, you know. Um, all right, IWMY is 110. That's the next fund I'm growing. I got Tesla, uh, Clip, and QQY, and the next one I'm growing is. Is IWMY. That's why I got 110 share versus 100, and I'm continue to keep drawing money in until I get to a thousand dollar. Not a thousand share, but a thousand dollar. Now this case, it pay a dollar. Guess what? That will be a thousand share, all right? And then, and I will be happy. SQY, I got a hundred share. I'm happy too. Um, and QQY, um, you know, I got a thousand seventy nine share. Clip, I got one thousand seven hundred twenty one share. That paid me a thousand dollar. TSLY pay me, uh, you know, a little bit lower than three thousand now because it's fifty five cents. But that's okay. Get me roughly almost three thousand dollar. All right. So here's the thing. All these here, if I were to buy any other time, I would pay a lot because some of these funds are very very expensive. Like Connie, it went up to thirty dollars, and and this is the lowest point you're gonna get. I mean, look at this. My average is twenty four fifty six. The price is twenty four. This thing literally came back. I bought this, just give you perspective, let me click on lot detail. Uh, I bought this at $23.08, I bought 49 share at $23, and it came up a dollar already. That's crazy. All in one day, it came up a dollar. So it's it's a very fast moving fund. And so, uh, I heard, I heard one time, I heard Joanna said this thing could potentially go to $50. $50. Uh, she, you know, she thinks it's going to go up because Connie is just very popular right now. And I don't blame him. I don't blame him. All right, so same thing as SQY. Now, the only thing I didn't own is AMDY and M Myrna, M -R -N -Y. I just refuse to buy Myrna. I just, every time I look at it, it's like, man, I just think of code. I just think of a scam. That's all I think of that company. I just think of scam. And uh, it's like, I'm not supporting it. All right. And uh, but who knows? I made you buy it because money is money, you know. 
If you want to be a capitalist, you got to bite your pride a little bit. And you're like, uh, all right. <laughs> you know, if you have any, if you have any, uh, you know, reservation, then, then maybe being a capitalist is not necessarily your direction, okay? Go join the Peace Corps or something like that, okay? Um, all right, there, there's, there, there's my uh, portfolio. All right, so uh, on Tuesday, I'm going to get $3,000. And $3,000 going to go right into my margin, and it's going to bring that back to $43,000 when I first start off. Essentially, that's what I did. I spent $3,000. On Tuesday, it's going to go back to $43,000. And then, uh, and then uh, I'm, not going to get, I'm going to get paid only a little bit from, from, uh, from TSLP. That's my third week. And then on my fourth week, I'm going to get paid by Cliff $1,000 plus my contribution, $1,500. So $2,500 coming in at the end of the month uh, in, in January going to February. Um, so what I'm going to do with that money, I probably going to throw it all into IWNY and buy another hundred share, you know, just keep growing, keep growing. And somewhere in February, uh, I'm going to have, I'm going to move a big chunk of money, about $20,000 worth, uh, 15 to 20, I don't know. I, you know, it's, it's still a good chunk of money. I'm going to move into my account. So one is going to bring my, my, uh, my margin down, but however, what I'm probably going to do is I'm going to keep the margin. I'm going to take that twenty thousand dollars. I'm going to buy another another fund, maybe IWNY, whatever, to get another thousand dollars. So think about it. I got five thousand dollars. If I put twenty thousand dollars in, I'm going to get another thousand dollars. That's going to be six thousand dollars. But as you can tell, uh, one of the things I was going to say is how am I growing to my five thousand dollars? So technically, right now I get more. I got more than five thousand dollars. Got like let's just go ahead and pull the dividend tracker. All right. Um, I update the dividend tracker uh, earlier, uh, not t not at home, but I I updated when I was work. So I changed my goal. My goal now is to get ten thousand dollars a month, and to get one hundred twenty thousand dollars a year. That's crazy. Think about it. I'm already my salary is already ten thousand dollars a month. Now my portfolio is getting ten thousand dollars a month. I'm gonna get like twenty thousand dollars a month every. I mean, I'm getting fifteen thousand dollars a month right now. You know, but <laughs> my goal is to get ten thousand dollars a month. All right. It's just it's just crazy talk, all right. All right, so as you know, it's not five thousand anymore. It's five thousand two hundred twenty-two. Where do I get the two hundred twenty-two dollar? That was the Connie and SQY. It's it's not going to reflect it now. I'm not going to get the money now because the X date. But I'm going to get it in February. So when you go to February, this would be amount. Now this thing is projecting, projecting out. All right. So uh, yeah, five thousand two hundred twenty-two. I'm growing. So think about one month, I already have a quarter of it. Next month, I'm going to have another quarter of it. So that's going to be 5,000, you know, 500. That's two months. I got 5,500. This is not, not counting the 20,000 I'm going to throw in there, all right? So, um, so essentially, about four months or so, I'm going to get roughly almost $6,000, all right? In about four months, all right? Roughly $6,000. And, uh, and then plus... The twenty thousand I throw in there, it's going to be seven thousand. Just, just my margin alone is seven thousand dollar plus my contribution of a thousand five hundred. So it's going to be eight thousand dollar a portfolio. So it's crazy how fast it moves. Just think about four months from now, I have a potential to get almost about eight thousand dollar my portfolio. And that's crazy. That's crazy. Okay. Right. One thing I like about my portfolio, I update these things here, and what I like the most is the calendar tractor. I'm going to show you the calendar track, uh, payout calendar. All right, so this is the payout calendar. We're going to go to February because I consider January's over. Uh, until I get my third week, then I say right now my third week I pay, I get paid seventeen dollars essentially. <laughs> uh, and all right, so in February, my first week I'm going to get paid by IWMY, Chepy, and QQY. They're the finance fund. They're going to pay first and the fourth. My second week is going to be Connie, Tesla, uh, T, uh, why TSLP in the second week? That's weird. Um, I got to figure out why. And then Connie, Tesla, plus I got SQY, I got AI. So all those defi uh, all those yield max, not defiance, all those yield max are going to pay me the second week. And then on the third week, it should be TES TSLP and FEPI, F -E -P -I. but uh, you know what? Maybe it is. Uh, and then the last week will be clip, okay, so to pay me. And that will get me 
almost 5,500 in February. So in that, it just continue to grow, continue to move up, and continue to get bigger and bigger. So uh, uh, I'm a little more diverse now. What I mean by that, let me just go back to my portfolio. So for those who've been following me from the beginning, my Tesla used to be 98% Tesla. When I said I'm all in on Tesla, I was literally all in on Tesla, all right? Now almost 98%. All right, now it's 48%. Uh, my, cl my clip is 23%. Uh, my QQY is 16%. And the rest of the fund is 2% and 1%. Okay? And, um, and that's how I'm going to do it. My goal is to get to 30% uh, TSLP. I'm not sorry, Tesla. To get 30% of Tesla. And the rest of the fund is going to be cats and dogs and everything. Eventually, my portfolio is going to get so big where my TSLP is only like 10%. Now you understand it's sixty-eight thousand dollar. If it's ten percent, uh, if if you t put if you grow TSLP, a uh, TSLT, what do I keep saying TSLT, TS uh, Tesla. When I grow Tesla uh, to ten percent, we're talking about my portfolio by this time going to reach a hundred thousand dollar. If if a hundred thousand dollar is ten percent, that means my portfolio is a million dollar. Okay, so just think about that perspective. Okay, because I my goal is to get Tesla to be ten percent of my portfolio, but that means my portfolio has to be almost a million dollar. All right. Um, uh, okay, so it's going to take me a while, maybe seven years. According to my spreadsheet, is seven years, and so be it. And we we we'll keep working on, it, keep chucking it. All right, so that is my portfolio. I'm just going step by step. I just want to show everybody. Uh, this never get old. I, people, for whatever reason, people like watching my portfolio. So uh, with that, I'm going to give uh, everyone in Discord a chance to chime in. And if not, I will shut down the v uh, recording. Uh, anybody want to say anything about my portfolio? Quick quick question. Um, now yeah. that you're on, first of all, uh, Hello to everybody. I hope everybody's well, and um, I hope everybody went, you know, did what they had to do today. Everything was on discount. And uh, Camille, what's up? What was happening, brother? Oh, um, dude, so dividend tracker. Yeah. I'm I'm looking at payout calendar now. I'm trying to figure out exactly um, what exactly what you're looking at because I'm on dividend calendar too, and uh, I'm yeah. here. So as far as payout date. Where do you where on dividend tracker are you looking at real quick? All right, you you see where my mouse is at? Yeah, yeah. All right, so first thing you got to do is create a portfolio called Add Portfolio, and you name the portfolio. That. Yeah, I already did that. Okay, and then you click on this thing called Payout Calendar. That's so it. I'm on Payout Calendar now, and then and then you see the calendar. So those blue dates are when you get paid. Yeah, th those are projected, you know, because that's of you know. Month. They, they may change, and these guys just need to update it. That's all. They're not, they're not as accurate, but however, it's good start, good point, good start. Oh, okay, that's dope. That's, that's really dope from Dividend. Uh, okay, okay, yeah. Yeah, Um, I'm guessing because of this month. I think, well, when do we get paid for Tesla? I think the 9th, right? Yeah, it's on the 9th. Yeah, so here it is on the 12th for me. Yeah. All right, no, I just wanted to, uh, as long as it's almost as accurate, that's good. It showed me on the 12th. It, it gives you a range. It gives you, like, uh, like fifteen, you know, like uh, eight to fourteen. Beautiful, beautiful. All right. Well, yeah. yeah so I'm, it's I'm not. It's not I have never seen it where it's accurately. It's only accurate on the past, but not in the. This is, we're talking about the future. They, they predict this from December to here. So, like, you you can go to February right now, and it's just it's just it, it's just a, an estimate. It makes sense. Yeah. No. No. It definitely makes sense. So, by your calendar, as I zoom in here. Uh, go go to yeah. So that's the January one, right? Yep. So you'll be paid one, two, three, four, five, six. So you'll be paid six times six dividends within different weeks. Yeah. Well, some of them paid the same week. Like IWM, Chep Y, and QQY all paid the same week. It's actually the same okay. day, same fund. And okay, okay. all the Tesla is going to pay the same day because they're all yield max. And then uh, TSLP, which is the Neos, they're all going to pay. The same day. So if you own Neo Apple, Neo Tesla, Tes uh, TSL Tesla, Neo Google, Neo Microsoft, then then guess what? They're all gonna pay the same day. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh -huh. All right. So so you own like four different. So you own Neo Max, Defiance, Neo, uh, and what else do you own? And Rexshare. Okay, Rexshare okay. is the uh, 
is the uh, uh, I just blank out Fepi F E P I. Okay, well that's good. And, and right now your portfolio is up to about five thousand. Yeah. Wow, that's dope. That's so good. Did you pick Not up just five thousand? It's five thousand two hundred twenty-two, man. Give me some credit. <laughs> my bad, my bad. I, I just got the eighteen uh, eighteen forty-five. That's the <laughs> estimate. So eighteen hundred and forty-five dollars right now for me. So that's that's kind of crazy. Yeah. Uh, working it up really fast, and uh, I did some pickup. I did some picking up today. So, yeah, man. Uh, so your goal overall uh, within this year is to be at ten thousand dollars a month. Yeah. So this is my year two. So I started exactly last year in January with zero dollar. So if you look at my first video, I have zero dollar in my portfolio. And then I, I just keep throwing money into it. So now I'm now I'm in year two. I'm going to I'm, I'm at year two going to year three. So by the end of by the end of 2024, I want to get the other five. I, it took me five to get I got five thousand dollars from year one. Well, in year two, I want to get to um, another five thousand dollars, get to ten thousand dollars. The reason why it's much faster in year two, I think I can get faster because in year one, the only source of income is my contribution. I, my dividend wasn't that high. Make sense? My dividend didn't get high until October, November, and December. I was making... Yeah. Yeah, it took me all that time to get 1000 And it took me all that time to get 2000 and get 3000 And I was stuck at 3000 for a while. And then mm -hmm. took me, took me, you know, it took me until, until essentially the end of December to get to $5,000. You know, it makes sense? No, 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 that makes that makes perfect sense. And another question I have for you: When when did did you start using margin right away? No, no, I I use margin once I start buying Tesla. The, these guys right here. Okay. So another because I'm about to do so. Obviously, I've told you guys about um, yeah. uh, the margin that I'm about to do. I already got approved by Monday. I should have you know everything set up by Monday morning. So. As far as margin, what would your advice be to somebody that you, just started using you margin? You want to use margin to buy high yield dividends because they generate cash flow back. I don't know why you want to use my. I, I'm not at the level of sophistication of, tr of a trader. There are people using margin to buy Tesla. Just think about that. That's crazy. There are people using margin to buy regular stock. All right? So yeah. that means those stock doesn't pay dividends. Don't, let's say... Let's say the margin you you have to pay five hundred dollars worth of interest. If you own nothing but none, let's say let's say I don't own any income fund. I own only on stocks. Okay. If I own on stocks and this doesn't pay dividends, and it costs five hundred dollars to for for my margin, guess what? Guess guess I have to put money into it. I have to transfer money from my bank into it to pay the interest because it's going to be a bill. They say negative five hundred. You know, isn't that crazy? Yeah. So, so how do you normally pay it out? Like, well, I, know, I, I so don't you, because you, I have a dividends. Do. I don't okay, do anything. Okay. The thing so about I'm margin, saying, yeah. Okay. If, you, if you're going to start getting into margin, you need to be extremely careful and learn about margin because Absolutely. that's that's one of the things that people get in trouble on. And if you're going to start margin, my recommendation is don't use more margin then you or your divs can pay off in one month. Yeah. And and keep that I until you are educated and comfortable on the proper ways to use margin without getting yourself in trouble. Because like the letter that uh, Debt Slave put into chat earlier, you know, people can and do get in trouble using too much of their margin. No, absolutely. That's why, you know... That, well, that's why I'm glad I'm here because I can ask that. I know there's going to be a lot of people here that really have knowledge on that. But yeah, I just plan on I plan on exploring it. Oh, okay. uh, but so I don't, I don't so plan you you get it. what one thousand eight hundred margin? Oh no, not margin dividends. You get one thousand eight hundred dividends. Yeah, as of right now, the but, estimation is about eighteen forty-five. Okay, here's here's a question. Um, I don't know when my uh, I don't know when my margin is due, uh, margin interest payment is due. My my assumption is the first week of the month because because I, I I get paid weekly you know almost almost weekly, so and my my dividend is so high like I get paid a thousand dollar more than a thousand dollar every one of these every week, so as a result what happened is when my interest come in, 
that sometime that week I get paid, so it just it just paid, uh, it just paid. I don't even I don't even see it. It's just it, it, there's no, um, it's there's there's no flag or no nothing. It's it just it just all I see is a positive number. Uh, I see this number going down because my 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 dividends paid back. Because I have dividends, I didn't have to worry about margin as much. You know, make sense? It's as long as as long as I'm I'm, continue, I'm continuing to get money to going in. Yeah, with with your margin overall. So, how much margin margin debt uh, do you have now? It's forty six thousand. And that that you've pretty much used for Tesla. Yeah, pretty Tesla. pretty much for everything. I mean, if you if I sell everything, it's one hundred thirty thousand dollars. So minus forty six thousand. Okay. Okay. Got it. Got what, it. What's your, what's your total margin that they, you have available? Oh, my available. It's like um, I can't click on it, but it's it's like. I think it was it was like a hundred thousand dollars, something like that. It's almost a hundred thousand dollars. It's like it's one for one. It's like like so, my portfolio is one hundred thirty thousand. It's a, it's almost a hundred. Now the reason why it's only two fund that give me the most margin: Tesla and Clip. Everything else is all one hundred percent maintenance. I was just trying to figure out what percentage of your margin you were using. You know, for me, yeah. Um, you know, if you're upwards of about fifty percent of your margin, you know, I'm I'm more conservative than that that's that's too much for me yeah uh, I'm, I'm, like oh i'm way more than 50 percent, but i'm not worried about it because like i told you number one uh i don't know if you heard me from the beginning there's twenty thousand dollars coming in and i'm making i'm making six thousand i'm putting six thousand five hundred into this portfolio every month that's 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 including my uh, my dividends so so if I if I just don't buy anything at all, this thing gonna come down to like a yeah, single digit in just in one month. Uh, so that's why I'm not worried about growing it up, you know. But one thing you don't, yeah, he's right. You don't want to. You don't want because if you like my portfolio has dropped fifteen thousand dollar in in two days. I mean the value of my portfolio dropped. So if if this drop another ten thousand dollar, guess what it. It's going at some point. It's going to go over my margin requirement. My margin require. I, I I don't know what the number is. I but I don't want to click on it because it's going to show my account. But um, uh, but I'm assuming it's half of of a hundred thousand dollar. So let's say for example, I drop another twenty thousand dollar or whatever the value. It it's just the market value. So let's say Tesla's down to one eighty. Everything is down. The whole market is down, and my account value. Remember. It's it's not just anything down. All these guys here is one percent maintenance, so that means I get no credit for them. There's only two things that matter: really, Tesla and Clip, and and Tesla and these guys. But they're so small; they're only like ten share, five share. But mainly it's Tesla and Clip. So if Clip is down, let's say Clip went down to thirteen dollar and Tesla went down to eight dollar, oh, I'm getting margin call. I can tell you that for sure, because I don't have two funds that's that's that is thirty percent and fifty percent. If they change the margin requirement, which uh, apparently they've done that, where they change the requirement, right now Tesla is 50% margin for, for Charles Schwab. If, if they change that back to 75% or 90%, guess what? I'm getting margin call. I, I'm gonna, yeah. And, and it's not bad, I, 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 which it happened to me already, margin call, because I, I was just experimenting. All they're doing is, what they do is, they're going to look at your portfolio and they're gonna look across, and they're gonna sell whatever that has the highest or whatever the highest value for you. They don't, uh, unfortunately, they don't give you a choice. They just tell you they ju they just sell it. They just click on something. I think what they do is they look at the highest value, like uh, like for example, right here, they would sell my SoFi because it's three and sixteen is positive. They would sell my Tesla uh, because it's a positive. I got two positive, so they would sell those two. To get the margin back to the low, and they would just sell that. Does that make sense? Now, of course, the next day of it down again, they're gonna go find something else to sell. They're gonna keep doing it until this forty thousand, forty six thousand dollar go away. Yeah, you know that that makes that makes sense. So the goal would just be to uh, slowly pay off the margin that you are basically borrowing, and and just with interest. Yeah, yeah. If you, I have money coming in. That's why I'm not. That's why this forty six thousand kind of scary for some people. But like I told you, I have money coming in, uh, and so 
if if you don't have money coming in and and you only making one thousand eight hundred a month, then you shouldn't borrow anything more than one thousand eight hundred a month. <laughs> you know, like I don't know. I mean, that makes sense. That, that well, makes a lot of sense. Just, okay, just kind of use your margin for taking advantage of dips that you might not have the cash readily available, but you got those divs coming in in a week or something right. like that. Yeah. So here's a good example how to use the margin well. Okay. Right? So we know that Tesla is going to pay us on Tuesday. Is that correct? So it's like four yes, days tonight. away. Yeah, four days from now. Okay, four days from now. So today, I would I I spend I spend I don't know if you saw this, but uh, two days ago my my uh, my margin was forty three thousand. I spent three thousand dollar exactly. Okay, three thousand dollar exactly. What did I buy? I bought a hundred uh, fifty share of uh, Connie and SQY. Because those are the X date price. I just bought. I just bought. Long as I spent under three thousand dollar, guess what? I managed to own these guys at a very low price. Like uh, example, Connie. I bought Connie. I bought Connie at twenty three dollar forty nine share twenty three dollar. That's one thousand. I sp I spent one thousand dollar on Connie. One thousand one hundred, but I bought it for twenty three dollars. Okay, and guess what? Guess what? Today's price is now. Closing price is twenty four dollar. By Monday, that price is going to be twenty five dollar. By Tuesday, that thing is going to be twenty six dollar. So when when they paid me, it's going to pay the margin. It's just going to pay the margin, okay? With the, the they're going to, uh, when Tessie gave me three thousand dollar, my margin is going to, going to go down to forty three thousand dollar. You see what I'm talking about? But I have a hundred share of Connie at low price. My average is twenty four. That's that's one way to play it. You know what I mean? It's opportunity. Uh, like for example, uh, that's how I would. Uh, that's how I've been doing for Tesla. Every time Tesla dr price drop, I would I wouldn't spend more than than what I'm going to receive. So you're going to receive one thousand eight hundred dollar uh, for dividends. Well, let's say for example Tesla dropped to ten dollar again. Well, the most you should spend is one thousand eight hundred because that's what you're going to receive. Make sense? Yeah, nah, that, that makes a lot of sense. Or, yeah, so, yeah, I don't know what else. How much you put in contribution every month? Do you have I'll a do you, do you have like a monthly contribution? Uh, I don't have an exact one right now. Okay, but, uh, like I uh, I have a direct deposit of of one thousand five hundred going into this account every month. Yeah. Uh, so the worst case scenario is. Let's say let's say my my let's say my dividend is only a thousand. Uh, well, okay, like the three thousand dollar. Well, the most the most I should spend is four thousand five hundred because I got three thousand dividend from Tesla plus my contribution coming in at the end of the month. That's the worst case scenario. But obviously, I, I didn't spend that much. I spent three thousand dollars. So on Tuesday, it will re, it will it will bring it back to this morning price, which is forty three thousand dollar margin. And and at the end of the month, when my contribution come in, uh, it will bring that down even down a little further. But let's say for example. Uh, on Tuesday, something else come up. I don't know. Let's say, for example, uh, let's say, for example, Tesla stock just dropped to, you know, to like two hundred dollar. Guess what? That's a great opportunity to buy Tesla stocks. And um, then, then I would just, I would use, I would spend only one thousand five hundred because that's how much I'm going to get at the end of the month. You know, it's it's just, I, I, I'm using margin to buy opportunity makes sense yeah no that makes sense that's kind of like what, what i'm looking at as well i, yeah. I don't want uh, i don't want to over leverage anything um you know but eventually i you know i'm gonna put i'm gonna bring in uh throughout these next few months over a hundred thousand in available just from my money and then um yeah i'm pretty sure you know i'll have a lot more available but i don't plan on touching margin anytime soon i mean i'm already at eighteen hundred dollars a month mm -hmm um so far and i'm hoping to keep improving that but like you said like i, I just want to have money um extra money for the opportunities um overall so i just want to double down on tesla with this with the share price and then obviously as imwy if it keeps it going down i'll keep buying that so yeah i just i, I just want to have the margin available uh but like the gentleman said you you have to know you have to know so 
really what I want to do is study for like a month or two um, just to have the margin there available. And then when I'm ready, I'll start making these moves. But trust thank, me, thank if you. you if you have margin available, and one of the reasons why I went up to forty six thousand dollar is because I bought I bought QQY at seventeen. My average is seventeen fifty six. Yeah, I dumped eighteen thousand dollar right into it as soon as, as I was just you know I was just happy go lucky like hoo hoo you know life is good you know I was just like hey I'm getting but. Man, this thing went down to seventeen dollars something. I was like, you know what? So I'm buying it. I'm using my margin. Bam, kabam. I I got it, and it's pretty low price. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, that makes sense. Uh, and, like oh, the opportunity there. Yeah, it, it's just an opportunity. That's all I'm using it for. But I, the reason I'm able to spend like eighteen thousand, I would never spend eighteen thousand five thousand. But remember, my 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 source of income is over five thousand dollar now you know what i mean so i'm a little more comfortable i have i have room i have leverage uh not leverage that's probably a bad word but i just have more rooms okay Dwayne, do how, what do you use margin for you don't use it at all I, I use it for two things one um as i've told you i i used uh, some of my margin to opportunistically buy tesla when it was down at 200. Um, and I'm sitting on that till, you know, like I said, it gets up above 270. I, I just bought, I just bought Feppy <laughs> for 54. I didn't mean to interrupt it. So I forgot I put GTC, you know, like extended hour. Uh, I bought it this morning at $54. I didn't get it, but I just got it like uh, a minute ago. <laughs> so, sorry so, about that. Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, you know, I, I used about 15 to 20% of my margin to pick up 90 Tesla at, right. I think my cost basis is right at 206. Yeah. Uh, you know, and I intend on selling that hopefully above 270. Um, you know, whenever I, I do f decide to pull the shoot, you know, Tesla of course keeps changing its mind on which direction it's going. And then I also use a, I leverage a little bit of my margin. I started doing a wheel strategy um, and it's a nice way to leverage your margin without actually having to pay for margin uh -huh. because you're, you're using the, the promise to buy using your margin, but you're collecting money on it now and you don't have to use it unless you actually get your, your option called. Yeah. Uh, and, and if you do, then you just turn around and start running covered calls on the, on the shares you just got, but I'm doing that on AI uh, which, you know, so that's only about a $2,000 buy. I mean, $3,000 buy if if it gets called out, you know, which is, so that would put me at right about 20% of my margin. And that's the most I'm comfortable using on my margin. That's, that's on a, yeah, uh, there you go, Lou. There's another perspective. Um, you know, I'm doing the Tesla thing because I stand to make, you know, if I sell over 270, I stand to make it, you know, $7,000 or so on the deal. Uh, and I'm, I'll end up paying, a, you know, I'm paying, a, I think, about $15 a month to, yeah. to maintain the, the margin. Why, why everything in my portfolio feels down, but however, the S&P 500 went up. Eight dollars. The Nasdaq went up thirteen dollars. The Russell is the only one down, but for some reason my portfolio is just blood everywhere. What is going on? I mean Tesla is down. That's probably why because I'm I'm very Tesla heavy. I got TSLP and I got TS Tesla. So if Tesla's down, then everything is down. You know. Even CLM is down. That's crazy. MPW. Oh, my God. What happened to MPW? Oh, my God. I don't even want to know. Somebody tell me what's wrong with MPW. I, I love MPW, but that's crazy. 20, 29%? Yeah, these... And Clip. Oh, my God. Clip is down also. Why? What is going on? What caused it to go down? <laughs> I don't know. Don't know. What's going on, Dwayne? 
Just another day in paradise. Yep. And I'm uh, looking, looking at the yield max funds. About 50% of them were up, 50% of them were down. Yep. It's a it's a good day. It's a good day. You know what? Every month, man, I'm making, I'm chucking along a hundred dollar here, two hundred dollar there, and uh, next thing you know, you're gonna meet hear me talking about six thousand dollars a month. I get six thousand dollars a month. <laughs> well, you're certainly outpacing me. Well, I'm I'm very aggressive right now. I'm I uh, I, I I'm I'm getting closer to you know punching out. You know, I can I can see the parachute. You know. I, I don't have the funds to be putting in your your fifteen hundred a month to keep up with you because I'm I'm trying to do other stuff also to oh. get myself set for retirement. You know, yeah. so I'm I'm actively trying to pay off my property. Also. Are you are you are you working right now? Like I'm uh, I mean I have a full time job, so that's why. You... I, I work from home. Oh, I'm okay. a programmer, okay. and I have a a circle of six screens around me. Oh, geez. and the, the the right side is my personal, the left side is business, and so it's easy for me just to swivel my chair ninety to forty five degrees, <laughs> and I go from work to pleasure and right back to work in in two seconds. You know? Oh, that's funny. Who I forgot the name of that girl, humble trader. I saw her set up. Let me see. If I can find it real quick. <laughs> She's one of humble trader. I love I love watching her. And uh, her computer screen right here, that's Humble Trader, Chinese girl. She's a, she's a day trader. And uh, his, his, look at her screen. <laughs> oh, my God. Just, just looking at these day trader, man. These day trader, they get like, they got tons of screen. And uh, all right, this is commercial. That looks like Australia. Where is this multi? Is she in Canada? Does anybody know where Humble Trader is from? All right, here, 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 let me see. There's a screen. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Look at her setup. Is this your setup like this? So I have my Weeble on a 34-inch ultra-wide <laughs> curved. Yeah. Uh, and then I, I have a collection of, you know, like 20-inch and uh, a programming monitor that's yeah. extra tall. And then oh, I've my got a God. 50- With- then I've got 55 inch, but yeah. I never use that except for movies while I'm doing stuff. Check, check this guy. Check this out. When she turned on her computer, check this out. This is crazy. Watch her turn on the computer. Look, look, look at all the windows popping up. <laughs> oh my God, that's crazy. Now, uh, have you ever seen somebody who stand in their office like Stan? Uh, so my office at work, I have a, I have a standing desk. Okay. That's what I thought. That's what I thought she has. But then, then I just saw her chair. She's sitting down, but, um, well, most of those, they, they've got a, a lift that yeah. raises the desk up and down. Yeah. That's what I have at work. It, oh. you know, so I stand up, hit the button and the desk goes up and yeah, this is crazy. How, how sophisticated she, I mean, oh my God, this is, I can see why Claude drool on this channel. She, he, he probably watched this. He just drool. He's just like, he's like, he's like, hey man, all these spreadsheet, all these numbers. <laughs> oh, oh my God. This is, this is nightmare. But yeah, she's a professional day trader. And, um, uh, and there you go, Lou. You can be inspired to be a professional day trader like her. I had a picture of my setup kicking around somewhere. Oh, I you do? I don't see it now, so I don't know what happened to it. You know, one thing about these yield max is that we don't need to trade. We literally don't need to trade. Why would you want to trade if 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 you're averaging over a dollar of dividends, 